folks, today we are looking at Katamino. That's how I like to say it. Katamino. This is a puzzle game. This is the original version. There are a couple other versions out there as well. More than 500 challenges. Can you complete them all? There's a lot of different like puzzle type games out there. This one really impressed me. It's just simple, straightforward, but really fun. I like the pieces. I like the size of it. All of this is really fun. Let's just show you a little bit of what we've got here uh, and how to play because it's very, very simple. So you can see in here, there's a lot going on. I mean, goodness gracious, what does this even mean? Well, let me show you and tell you, this is also really nice, a diagram of how everything fits back in because you need that. <laughs> Um, so this is going to tell you how everything works. You can play uh, with multiple people if you want. You could play easily solo. That's kind of what it's designed to be, I believe. But you could, you know, test something out and have someone else working through it with you. It's that type of game that if you're playing this uh, like a Sunday afternoon after family lunch, it's going to draw some people in and people are going to be like, can I try? Can I want to try it. Let me try this. I think I can get this one, you know, because it just seems like you can, even if you're on like a super hard one. Anyhow, uh, and there are some variants. So there's like a strategic variant for two players, even more challenges, uh, all sorts of stuff. So there, there's stuff in there. But let me just show you what we're looking at right here with all of these. So you're going to do like A3, let's say. So if I'm going to do A3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump out all of these bad boys. I'm going to take this bar and put it on the three. So you can see I put that bar on the three right there. And so I need to fill everything underneath that and I can use these three pieces right here. So if I grab uh, this green T right here and if I grab this brown guy right here and this L, you should be able to figure out a way to put those and complete every space in there. Now, if I wanted to do A4, I would move this up to the four and grab the next piece. So that's another thing I really like is it can be really quick and you can keep the pieces you already had and go to the next level and just grab one more piece as opposed to like trying to find all these new pieces and do a different level. You can go through this whole line and you can play three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six rounds to get through that and you're just adding a piece every time, moving the bar up one. I just think that's really fun and really streamlined and easy. And again, the pieces just feel really nice. They could have easily made this much smaller um, and they do have a travel version, which is much smaller, which is really cool too. Um, but overall, really impressed, really happy with this. I think it's overall, it just works really, really nicely. The pieces are really nice. So if you are looking for a puzzle type game for, uh, you know, the adult mind, not necessarily a kid one. There's a bunch of kid ones out there that are still pretty difficult. But if you are looking for one that is designed for ah. adults, has a nice feel to it, looks kind of uh, classy, that kind of stuff, then I would recommend Catamino. Catamino. That's what I would recommend. So hopefully that gives you a nice little touch and a taste of this game here, what it is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.